Hey everybody, let's take a look at uh, adding algebraic expressions with negative exponents. Before that, let's take a look at our oldie here. And uh, you can copy this down or you can just watch me if you want to. Just review how to do this, okay? Remember, when we have unlike denominators, we have to make them the same. So we have to figure out what do x squared y and x cubed m squared y both go into. And the way you do that, of course, is you look at each individual variable and go, okay, well, I need to pick the one with the higher exponent. So x to the third is what we want to pick. Uh, m squared needs to be in both of them. And y is in both of them already, so we can just keep that the way it is. And we already have our a here. And what we did to the bottom was we had to multiply by x to make this x to the third. So there's our x. And we had to multiply by m squared. This one on the right actually already has what we need. So we can just leave it the way it is. Then we just couldn't, I'm not going to bother to write this twice, but you can just put this both over, you know, one denominator, which is the common denominator in both of those. But when you see something like this, remember what the definition of that is? In other words, you can visualize this as that and then go, oh, okay, I can move this down here which turns it into this with a one up top, always have to have something, and then the value of the exponent changes to a positive. Okay, all right? Knowing that, we're gonna look at these two terms here and write them together, and we're gonna write the answer with all the exponents positive. So, uh, take a second to copy that now, and we're just gonna add these. And this will, of course, turn into a to the first stays on top. X to the negative one goes on bottom and turns into X to the positive one. Y to the negative one, of course, goes, in other words, you're looking at it like this. This moves down and it turns into Y to the positive one. We have a one there, all right? Of course, obviously you can tell the common denominator is just X, Y, right? So we're gonna have to add, uh, multiply by Y here to make it the same. And we're gonna have to multiply by X here to make it the same. So we have x, y as our common denominator. And then you have a times y plus x. And there you go. And that's your entire expression there. All right, let's try another one. Uh, add these, write the answer with all the exponents positive. And go ahead and take a second, copy that down if you need to. And this is a little different. This one, of course, can be rewritten. a stays the same x stays the same, y to the negative one goes on bottom, turns into y to the positive one, and then bz just is, you know, bz. Now you want to put a, you know, over a one, that's fine, okay? Obviously then, what do y and one both go into? The answer is y. So you're going to have to, you're going to, have to multiply this by y, and of course you can multiply this by y as well. So now we put those together over, both uh, have y as a common denominator, so we're just going to put that as one fraction. So we have ax on the top plus b, z, and y. And we're going to add those and make it so we have one fraction because a lot of times in algebra those are easier to deal with if you're doing some other work to it. Okay? All right, let's try another one. This is looks more complicated here. So take a second. Pause it and copy it down if you need to. All right. Well, let's kind of piddle with this first one. Um, to begin with. Um, again, you, you know, you can always visualize these things as being over one. Sometimes it makes it easier to flip those uh, um, variables. Okay, so a to the negative two, let's just go ahead and rewrite this down here, the entire thing, all right? a to the negative two goes on the bottom and turns into a squared. Uh, the x times the x, can, that can stay that way that, uh, up top since they're both positive. So there's your x squared. Now the y to the negative one, of course, goes down here and becomes y to the positive one. All right, and there's your first denominator. This denominator, of course, the a is fine the way it is. The z to the negative one goes down here, turns into z to the positive one. All right, let me just uh, use another color to help you visualize this a little bit better. Okay, well, obviously we're gonna, we're gonna need to have an a squared, a y, and a z in both these denominators, right? We're missing the z for this one. So we'll multiply by that, and then we'll, of course, do the same thing to the top. 
Over here, we're missing a squared and y. So we're going to multiply by a squared and y. So we're multiplying by a squared and y. All right? Well, we can just go ahead and write the, you know, the denominator. We know what it is. It's a squared, y, and z for both of those. Over here, we have x uh, squared, z. And then we have plus uh, a to the first times a to the second, which is a to the third. That's supposed to be a plus there. That's a horrible plus. Anyway, there's my y, and there you go. That is considered simplified because we turned two fractions or two terms into just one fraction. So, okay. All right, try your practice set and see how you do on these. Pause it and try one. All right, well, let's go ahead and write A. We'll rewrite it like this. A and then X to the first power minus. B is okay the way it is. Y to the negative 2 goes down here, okay? Well, let's just visualize here with a couple of little colors here. All right, we need to have X, Y squared as our common denominator. So Y squared here and Y squared there. And this one needs an X, so X and then X, okay? Again, it doesn't matter what order these are in. X can go to the front of that or whatever. So let's just call it X, Y squared for our denominator. And we have A, Y to the second minus B, X. And there we go. And that's our first one. All right, try Pause it and try B, and then come back and see what you have. Okie doke, let's take a look at B. Let's rewrite this first. You know what, I'll go down here and rewrite it. All right, new fraction. X looks good the way it is. A to the negative third comes down. Y to the negative one comes down. All right, I'll subtract. B looks good the way it is. X comes down becomes X squared. Let's go ahead and uh, use a different color here. And obviously we need an a to the third, we need a y, and we need an x squared for our denominator. So we go x squared here times that, and then x squared there times that. Over here we don't have an a to the third or a y, so we plop those in there, a to the third y, and then a to the third y. All right, and then we go ahead and we can go ahead and just, we know that's going to be over one denominator. Of course it doesn't matter what order you put these in. What the heck, we'll just put a first since it's alphabetical. Okay, and then a y, all right. And then, we over here we have x to the first times x to the second, which is x to the third, and minus a b, and then a to the third, y, and there we go, okay. All right, you guys have a good day. See you next time.